Okay, uh, some of you have been asking questions about <clears throat> how to um, abstract these uh, hands appropriately or how to make connections per se. Um, somebody was talking about, this is a really crude eye that I just made, but somebody was talking about potentially putting eyes on the fingertips or something. So my advice with your abstract hand <clears throat> is to always really try to make the abstraction part of the hand, not just on the hand, right? Like if I'm just setting this on it, then it's just an eye on the hand. The hand isn't really abstracted. It just has extra things kind of with it. So I could, if the clay was wet enough, kind of push the end of this fingertip and kind of mold it into an eyeball, or I could just cut it off. Now, if it's a dry leather hard, it's not going to really let me do that. So sometimes you have to learn, okay, we got to work this clay for a long time. So I got to keep it wrapped up. And then also I want to work this clay through many different stages. Now this eyeball is spherical. So I need to make a little divot in the end of this to kind of accept the eyeball. All right. And then I'm going to get my slip and score kit here. <clears throat> or slip is liquid clay. We haven't talked much about that, but you can take your dried out clay and you can make some slip. And look, I've got my brush attached to it so I can keep it, keep it, um, keep my brush moist so it doesn't have to be cleaned out all the time. <clears throat> and so this is called slipping and scoring. Look, I was trying to work mostly subtractive here in this assignment because I didn't want to get into adding and subtracting clay. I wanted to work mostly subtractive. But as we get into you abstracting your piece, right? Subtractive means we're just, we're working from a roughed in form and we're taking the clay away. So I need to really push that in there. And then I could kind of push the clay up into that, up into that eyeball, make sure it's really well attached. Now, if I'm a dry leather hard, that's going to be really, really tough to do. Um, so those are things you might want to consider. You know, maybe if your hand is a dry leather hard, this is still pretty, pretty leather hard. I can really still push this around quite a bit. But if your hand's at a dry leather hard stage, you might want to consider doing some abstraction where you're, again, working subtractively, right? Where we're carving into this thing. I always wanted to make a palm look exactly like an ear and then have like the ear hole come out this side or something crazy. Um... But what I want people to really stay away from is I don't want you going around and adding a whole bunch of stuff to the hand that sticks way out and that's really fragile and it's just going to break off, okay? So when abstracting the hand, try to make stuff um, part of the hand, really part of the hand, okay? Okay.